Last time you saw us, we went to a hot spring and didn't go in for a multitude of reasons and figured we'd go to the campsite we were supposed to go to and then it was closed. So we tried to find water and then we tried to find a campsite and that landed us at Flying J in an illegal parking spot. Success. We're the only ones here pretty much, but we stayed. So I went in the Flying J. No, it's not. I wonder if the, not the owner, but one of the bosses said the water was back on. Doesn't seem to be working for me. Let's see if he fixed this one maybe instead. No. Water's not on. I said the water is back on, but I guess it's not. Weird. Power's pounding. What the heck is going on? Driving past this like siren. I was going, oh my God. <laughs> and it, was, it made my heart pound because when we got closer, I thought like the car was gonna like I don't know. What we was had no happen. idea what was going on. That made my ears rumble. My head's like pounding. I feel sick now. Oh my yeah. Gosh. So we figured out what the sirens were for. There's 86 of them in Denver, and they're like tornado slash like get inside or like seek safety immediately sirens. And on the second Wednesday of every month, they test them at 11 a.m. So it makes sense. Yep. Figure it out. It's been a little while since the dogs have gotten a place to run around in since we've been in the city. So we found this little park that's fairly empty and we're letting the dogs run around and get some energy out. Brayden chases the ball and Oreo chases Brayden chasing the ball. And there's these holes all over the field and there's prairie dogs coming out of them. Finally, some water. Oh wait, the keys. Here they are. So we've been out of water for a couple days and I did see this place in iOverlander and every place I saw in iOverlander seemed to be closed. So we came and checked this place out over in Boulder. It's the Kanoko. That's an iOverlander and there's a little water fill up and he let me fill up. No questions asked. So here we are. Well, we finally got water, which is great. We literally have not had water, like Grayson said, in days. And it was getting like pretty rough. We'd just be filling our waters at like the gym and stuff. Um, so yeah, that wasn't going to last too long, especially with the animals and having to do dishes and all of that. So we got our water and now we are actually going to a real spot that is not a parking lot. And I am so excited. We're only 22 minutes away, so not bad. It's pretty much right outside of Boulder. Yeah, it's gonna be great. epic spot so we got here we did look at the spot and I was like sorry if my hair is crazy I'll just tuck it a little bit for you but I walked down this road past this Tacoma and I was like wow it looks pretty rough but I think we could have done it we would have crawled but if we have to leave or go to town for any reason tomorrow it would be the hassle so this spot right in the front kind of works for us right now tomorrow morning Ashley can look at it and she could decide if we're gonna go to town if we're not if we're not we'll probably move over there but the trees are very very low it's very, very tight. And there's no turnaround until you get to the end. And it's not really a turnaround, so. This is our spot for the night. We're gonna eat dinner. Probably just hang out and enjoy the trees. It's pretty cool outside, so it's a fire man. So we're probably just gonna hang out, enjoy the sounds of the trees, maybe play some games. You guys know I always beat her. And she's inside and doesn't know I'm saying this, but I always beat her. And I always tell her, hey, maybe it's okay that I beat you. We're just practicing for next time when we play other people. We're on the same team, it's okay. I got you treats. What kind of treats are those? We got them cheeseburger flavor treats and they're shaped like a cheeseburger. Do you want a treat? Gentle. 
Gentle. Sit. Hey. Sit. The next contestant. Sit. Paw. <laughs> See, he's picky. He might eat it. Maybe break it for him. Nope, he likes yeah, it. Yeah. We just heard a really loud noise at the window, and we don't know what it was. And we're turning all the lights off so we can check out the window. Oh my goodness, turn on the outside lights. Are you sure? Go. Should I do it? Just go. Yeah. Nothing's here. We turn the lights on. So we were just sitting at the table getting ready to play a game, and all of a sudden we hear something boom hit the window. And like it wasn't extremely loud, but it was loud enough that like I don't I know what it would have been. Roof. No, I thought it was I thought it was out this window right here. Yeah. That's where I felt like the sound was coming from. And so we turned off all the lights and we tried to look outside. I had the camera cap on so you couldn't even see. <laughs> but anyways, there ended up being nothing out there that we saw, but it was definitely something. Like something hit the Maybe RV. It. Maybe it ended up being a tree, but it didn't sound like a branch. It literally sounded like something go boom. Yeah. yeah, it literally sounded like that. I don't know. So we'll keep you updated if there's anything else. If not, we'll see you in the morning. Breakfast with a view. All right, so ever since we were playing with the dogs this morning, we did a lot of things. We worked, we went to the gym. We got a Starlink coming, so that should be here anytime soon. We're excited to not have to come back to town every single time we need real signal to do something other than go on social media. Yeah. So our Starlink should be coming in two days, and obviously we're gonna do a review on that. So make sure you watch that video once it comes out. And Ashley, once again, wants frozen yogurt. Supposedly, it was my idea this time, and... It was. We were leaving the gym and Grayson was like, Man, I could really use some Froyo. It's just such a good workout. We deserve the Froyo. Started convincing me. So before you listen to her too much, it basically... It doesn't take much convincing, really. I'm always ready for Froyo. So before you listen to her too much, basically what she's saying here is that... It was her idea. And so... It was not. <laughs> basically, we're going to probably go get frozen yogurt. We just... Ashley just finished doing a YouTube video thing. Edit. Blah, blah, blah. Takes like <laughs> five hours to do. It probably took longer this time because it kept like deleting stuff and whatever. I was having a pain, a pain in the butt time. It's kind of frustrating, but... It's fine. Yeah, we kind of show you guys the good and the bad. And I know that sometimes we're a little bit, you know... We, we start in the morning and then you see us the next morning, but... <laughs> <laughs> It is what it is, you know? It is what it is. But basically, probably gonna get Froyo. We just had like the cheapest meal. We had a dollar pack of beans from Sprouts, a dollar can of organic natural green beans from Walmart, and I had like half a cup of rice. Ashley didn't have that part. And. Chicken. Chicken. And we keep talking about the gym a lot. Do you guys want us to show you some of our gym footage? If you want to see that, comment down below. Ashley actually used to be a certified Zumba fitness instructor, and I was a NPC competitor, so fitness is a large part of our lives. And it's how we met. It's how we met. So if you don't know that story... Oreo! Oreo said the gym's part of his life, too. <laughs> and he's actually doing... I'm not sure what that exercise is. I've never seen that one before. But if you want to see that, comment down below. We'd love to start including more of our fitness... Not journey, but tips and workouts and so on and so forth and that's why if you guys see what we eat most of the stuff is pretty bland paleo besides froyo <laughs> <laughs> most of the stuff is pretty bland and paleo type stuff besides froyo like ashley just said or just very like natural fruits and health is very important to us and even more important after the whole incident 
that happened with our truck camper because everyone at the burn center said Ashley only is recovering as fast as she is because of her health and they can tell how important health is to her. So yeah, if you wanna see that, make sure you comment that down below. So for dinner, like I told you we had the rice and the beans and the green beans and the chicken. And uh, does anyone else eat food while they're putting it away? Or is it just me? Because I feel like every time I end up eating half of it while I'm putting it away. But Ashley's going to tell you guys something about these little things. Well, we only have these little Tupperwares left because everything else is being used right now since we have so much food. In like, we literally probably have the most amount of food right now that we've ever had. Yeah, I know we saw on Instagram, but we bought I don't it. know why. We just kind of kept getting food, and now we're, like, stocked up. Look, I don't know if you guys know, but we use the microwave as more food storage, and we got all these chips and stuff. I don't know, this brand. Show them the other container, the other compartment on the left. Okay. So there's more in here. Like yeah. we barely have room for anything. Yeah, we and really- And I decided it was okay to cook like 12 servings of rice. And you're still eating it. But anyways, these chips, these Siete chips, we buy them a lot, or we used to buy them a lot, and they're like $5 each, and we found them at Sprouts for literally a dollar each. So naturally, we bought every single flavor. <laughs> We used to buy them a lot and then we went to Mexico and realized that you can get like chips for like 99 cents or less. So it's like, Or make your own. Or make your own. So we don't really make our own and obviously we're not in Mexico anymore. So we figured when we saw, four, those chips are usually 4 to $5 a bag depending on where you bought them. Yeah. Or where you buy them at. And we found them for a dollar each at Sprouts and it was like a no brainer. But we're, that was like spoiling ourselves. We're probably not getting them for a while after that. <laughs> I'm just reading reviews for this park here in Boulder. And Grace was telling me that there was a bad review or something. Great park to stay at for the night. It was quiet, a great place, and slept well. I think we were the only two people that spent the night, but in the morning the park filled up quickly. We pulled in after sunset, and there were so several spots to choose from, but our spot sloped a far bit, but we survived. So you guys know we were so hyped to get to that spot the other night, last night. But we're waiting for those packages as we talked about, so kind of city camping is really our only choice here because... Well, also also, I don't know if it's my sister-in-law. It's my sister's husband's sister. So her sister-in-law. Maybe it's my sister-in-law. I don't know. But family, she lives in Boulder. And so we are going to a farmer's market with her in the morning. And we're going to park at her house and walk over to the farmer's market in the morning. And the park is only seven minutes from her house. So it kind of makes sense to stay there regardless. Did you look at that? There's a trash can right outside. And we have got the trash. Okay, we parked the parking lot. So just keep this up. Jump down, and I'll grab this other trash. And I was telling Ashley the best boondocking spots have trash cans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, take the lid off. <laughs> it's a good feeling when you come outside with the dogs and they pee immediately. That means they were just holding it perfectly. Good boys. <laughs> good boys. A fun fact about Oreo if you see him peeing right now is he can only pee lifting his left leg on stuff. Like he, he'll walk around and smell it and be like his right side facing it and he'll literally turn around specifically just to be with his left side. And I don't know what it is, if you know what's wrong with him, comment down, down below because he literally will only pee on stuff with his left leg, am I right? Except very rarely. Except very rarely when he has to pee really bad, he'll like kind of just lean forward and pee like on the ground, or like, but usually it's with his left leg. I don't know if you can see me, but we're leaving Walmart. It's been nice, the upload speeds here are incredible. If you ever just want a nice day of work and don't want to spend money going to a coffee shop that you don't even know how the Wi-Fi is going to be, Walmart, every time, every time, it never fails to amaze us. You already know what time it is. 38 minute walk. For some reason, it just keeps putting me on walk mode. Like, I don't walk everywhere. We're not in Mexico anymore. <laughs> Four minutes. Oh, uh, it's not fast enough. So we just got here to Menchie's and we are leaving the dogs as we always do. And we're gonna go get some not so fat frozen yogurt bowls. Don't ask me why I'm wearing a winter jacket. I'm just cold. It's 70 degrees out. Oh. <laughs> all right, so we're huge on trying them all. It's cold brew, toasty marshmallow, cookies and cream, dulce de leche, cake batter, tart, raspberry tart, cheesecake, mango. Pineapple, fruit punch, vanilla snow, chocolate. This tastes like legit coffee and soup. This is mine. That's Ashley's. 
Mine's definitely better. And by the way, when we come here, we typically use our cash back. And we're running low, so it means we're almost done with Froyo. We're not running low, but we use a lot of it. Yeah, we need to wait till next month when our cash back comes back again. <laughs> what the heck? So we are back at Walmart because basically that park, you can't park for free at during like weekends or something. So we are at this Walmart that does say no parking, but there's a class A here and I think we're just gonna risk it. But I don't know why Grayson's brushing up against these trees right now. It's kind of weird. Oh. 